Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a shark out there. There's a shark, do you see the shark? Good morning, everyone. Today is another magical, fantastical, incredible day on the Disney Dream. David and I are going to head out for a Castaway Key Day 2. It's going to be amazing. Breakfast first, and our group has already been called. This is an amazing thing. I got into group uh, 33, and at 8.36 in the morning, our group was called. That's that's fast. That's very fast. I was 10 minutes late to join the, the virtual queue. That is a super, super fast sporting group. Cannot wait for an amazing Castaway Key Day. David has a lot more experience than I do with GoPros because he uses it far more frequently. He's trying to fix my GoPro right now, but it is having those same problems as yesterday where it just simply won't turn on. It doesn't matter. We're using an OEM battery. These are official GoPro batteries and still not happening. That's all right. We've always got the backup with the phone. Yay. All right. Time for some drinks for the road as we make our way onto the island today. So exciting having the same GoPro problems that I had yesterday. Battery not stuck, but it just won't turn on. So today's, most of today's anyway, vlog is gonna be filmed on the, right here on my phone. Goes to show the power of phones when you need them. Check out that Castaway Key shirt. I am 100% ready to head out there for a second day of Castaway Key fun. Let's do it. And here we are for our second day of Castaway Key. Look at this, 9.15, 9.30 in the morning. Take a look at that. Not many people at all as we make our way out here to grab some towels. I gotta tell you, these towel uh, clips right here were extremely helpful. Kind of keep them on the chair as we're sitting back and relaxing. Love that. We're probably gonna see some characters as we make our way. Uh, gonna be an amazing day. Captain Jack again, hanging out with us. That's so cool. I love starting the mornings this way. It is 90% treasure for me, 10% for you? Oh, okay. Captain Jack Oh, okay. All right. And when I have Captain in front of my name, we'll do it the other way. Oh, me. I'm the Captain. Oh, the. Okay. All right. It's only one. Only one. Only one. Got it. Got it. Thanks, Captain. I appreciate that. We've got characters out here first thing in the morning. I love that. It's about 940, I think, in the morning. To the left-hand side, I think somebody's taking a break. Looks like it. But as you we were making this turn, I saw somebody else here. There he is. There's Goofy. Hey, Goofy. Woo. Good to see you. Woo. There he goes. Captain Hook, it's me too. Oh my gosh, we just saw the characters. Yeah, and Smee. Oh, wow. Make sure you keep your eyes open as you're making your way on the tramp. We totally missed it at first. Mickey and Minnie in their cars, and then Captain Hook and Mr. Smee out there waving at us. Very, very cool. You gotta keep your eyes open. A lot of things on sale here at Castaway Key. These lanyards are actually $7.99, usually $15, and I think this one's not, but this one's another great lanyard right there, but I really like that one, tempted by it. There's even more that's uh, kind of, they're trying to clear out here. See, none of the pins I don't think are being cleared. But this Castaway Key, this very special uh, keychain here, $5.99 with Olaf. Nice. There's our tram for Serenity Bay. I always like the center median right here. We can actually see these cannons here. There's one on the ground, and then there's one over there. Right here, there's like an older cannon here from like a pirate ship. And there's one like from like the, uh, somewhere else, I don't know, but it's like Mulan movie, so cool. With so few people on board, I think there's like 1600 people on board this cruise. It's just, it makes everything so much more relaxing. So, Serenity Bay as an example, let's take a look at 10 in the morning. We've been allowed to get off since 8.30. See how crowded it is. Here it comes. You can see there are a few guests here, but oh my gosh, plenty of open seats. Even that fourth or fifth one down is open. Yes, I love it. And look at that crystal clear water right there. Such an amazing feeling. This is an amazing way to celebrate Castaway Key and the second day of our double dip cruise adventure. You can see we're sitting back, relaxing, enjoying our first part of the morning here. If you're on a double dip, my recommendation, do the first day high adventure. So snorkeling, parasailing, jet skis, you name it, having a good time, stingrays, that's always fun. The second part, you spend relaxing. And it's not even 10 in the morning yet, and we've got all day. Sit back, relax, just bring lots of sunscreen with you. You'll be glad you have it. And then just enjoy the day. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend some time just laying here and then I'm gonna get in that water, crystal clear, crystal clear blue water. You can tell I'm already falling asleep. 
and uh, and just enjoy. Here it is, that beach, Serenity Bay, Castaway Key, Disney's private island. Ah, just walking along now. Oh, that's cooler water, but magical. You can see most of the chairs are not filled. The vast majority of them are indeed empty. As we make our way along the sand, I love it. Not a shark tooth, but it's, it's almost looks like a piece of coral. Huh, don't think it is, but I return it right there. So cool. Take a look at some of these shells that I found here at Castaway Key. This one's really cool, it's got a great design to it. It's like crystal, uh, crystal clean one right there. So nice. Hear that on the umbrella right there? It is indeed raining super intense, but uh, only on David's side apparently because I'm super dry. Like, there's nothing going on. I think the rain's coming at an angle where the umbrella's blocking it perfectly for me, but not for David. So, sorry Dave. You're fine. Sorry. Right. Super light rain showers like this are extremely common at Castaway Key. Do not let it chase you off the beach. Please, 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 please. Just sit here, relax, get some cover for maybe 10 minutes. Maybe, more like five. And then before you know it, it's gone. But these little pop-up rainstorms called popcorn storms, I believe, are unbelievably common at Castaway Key. So sit back, relax, grab that uh, cover under umbrella or other cover and you're in great shape. You can see, even though it's raining right now, it looks super sunny. And this is what it, this is how it happens. It's like this all the time. Like not a, not a serious looking cloud in the sky, but it's never the one right overhead. It's the rain cloud. So it's a great looking day. We're just gonna hang out under here while the uh, rain pours down a little bit around us. And then before you know it, we'll be back out there. He's enjoying it. Looks a little cold though. And it is a little cold <laughs> out there. See that big storm cloud above them there. That is a very intense storm. Is it cold? Today they want to do something I've never done before. The uh, guy came around asking if we wanted any drinks. I asked him what the non-alcoholic drink of the day was. He said it was this uh, princess something. It was a mango and passion fruit with raspberry at the bottom. It sounds amazing. And I said, do you have it in those um, uh, bamboo mugs? Sure enough, they do. So we're gonna get one of those. I think David might get one too. I'm gonna start with my own. And then David will uh, see if he wants one a bit later. The rain's really coming down now. You can really hear it. Oh my gosh, getting intense. Maybe we'll move the bag under the umbrella. Uh, you hear that rain, the wind? Oh my gosh. I have one of these. I've kind of wanted one for a while. It's so cool. Castaway Key Disney Cruise Line right there on the top with a non-alcoholic drink of the day. The Princess Flavor, I think is the name of it. Ready? Let's try it together. Oh my gosh, such a great raspberry flavor at the bottom. I think I have to pull the straw out a little bit, get more of the mango. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that great mango flavor and passion fruit. That is a fantastic drink to have in that very cool bamboo. I love it. Take a look, it is indeed raining right now, but not too bad, right Dave? Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. It's, you know, this is a, it's a great way to experience Castaway Key because you got that drink in hand, still great views, still appreciating every single moment. Love it. Found out that this drink is called the Princess Delight and I like it so much. I convinced David to get one too. Are you looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to it, it should be great. Uh, of course, you gotta get the souvenir mug. You cannot not get the souvenir mug. You can get the mug with any drink, we found out. So you just have to ask for it and they will uh, they will add it to the drink. I think it's like $10 for everything. That's pretty good for me. For the, you know, it's a nice plastic mug. I'm gonna hang on to this for a long time, you know that. The rain's definitely gotten a bit more intense uh, right now. As you can see, David and I have gotten a, a bit wet, just a bit. And you can see it's really cloudy over there. So there's no doubt more rain gonna stick around for a little while, but we're already in swimsuits. So we're all right, no problem. Almost don't have to wear the sunglasses, almost. But still kind of sunny. It's kind of kind of weird, like like cloudy and sunny. Weird, weird, but welcome to uh, Bahamian weather. Don't mind at all. Okay, it is time for our Serenity Barbecue Lunch. I'm so Serenity Bay Barbecue Lunch. I'm looking forward to this one. I love it. I think the ribs, let's do the, uh, yeah, barbecue pork ribs. That sounds so good. Thank you very much. That looks perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Check out lunch today. You can see I've got a big appetite. We've got some of that rice there. We've got the ribs, love that. But my favorite is the chicken sandwich, the spicy chicken. It, I, I don't know if it's still gonna be my favorite, but there's only one way to find out. David's got similar items here, including that salad. He's got a burger there, some of that rice and the chips over there. Uh, Let's dig in and give it a try. Pouring rain at this moment. Pouring, absolutely pouring rain here at uh, Castaway Key. We've got <laughs> Dave and I left our towels on the beach. They're gonna be soaked. That's okay. That's all right. But we're we're pretty dry. Pretty dry. Yeah. 
Ready for load. That rainy on your side, huh, dude? It was pretty rainy over there. Yeah. You can even feel it here. It, it's pouring, but less so here. We're gonna enjoy a soggy lunch. Not that, not that bad, not that bad. Gotta tell you, this is the barbecue that I remember. The spicy chicken sandwich is outstanding, and the ribs are incredible. The rice and uh, yucca potatoes, they were all right, but the spicy chicken sandwich and the ribs, absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go back for seconds right now. That's how good both of those are. Still raining quite a bit here, Castaway Key. Best part of a double dip. One day it's sunny, one day it's rainy. Get a chance to experience both. You can tell which were my favorites here at the uh, Serenity Bay barbecue. That spicy chicken sandwich, those ribs. Absolutely incredible. These are the items to get on your Castaway Key day during that barbecue. It's cookies one, cookies two also has them too. But you know, David and I love this barbecue right here. And look how quiet it is. Look, we basically got the whole place to ourselves. And it's like, it's like 12.30. It's, it's not even that late in the afternoon. After that super spicy chicken sandwich, and it is super spicy, but so good. Strawberry banana ice cream. <sighs> delicious, delicious way to end the lunch here at Serenity Bay. I love it. Probably go back to the actual beach here at Serenity Bay in a bit, and then shopping and more to do tonight. There's so much to do. Overall, Dave, what'd you think of the lunch? Very good food, glad we had it. Okay, favorite thing you had at lunch? I feel like I always love that classic burger. You got the cheese and lettuce. You put that right on there. Tomato. It's a it's a DIY burger, which is always fantastic. But I really enjoyed your spicy chicken too. Sure. For me, I think those two are going to be tied maybe for that first spot. There you go. I like spicy chicken and ribs myself. No matter what you get, Serenity Barbecue can't go wrong. Cookies one, cookies two. Same food too. Delicious. There is a giant stingray right there here at Serenity Bay. David can barely see it. I'm not sure if he can see it or not. But right out here is a stingray. I have never seen a stingray out here just on the loose at Serenity Bay. So, so cool. Just <laughs> you see something new every single time here at Serenity Bay and at Castaway Key. David's doing the shuffle now to make sure he doesn't step on any other stingrays. But literally, this is where we look how close it is to David right now. This is not in the Stingray Lagoon. This is just out in the middle of the ocean. I'm not getting in the water so that it uh, isn't disturbed by me. But you can see it. He's searching for food right there. I think maybe he's like, come to a rest right there. Never in all of my time here at Castaway Key, we've been here many times, have I seen a wild stingray just come this close to the shore. I, mean, I want to show you where we are. There's David. There's the stingray. You can still see it. This is how close it is. And here's the, here's the shore. It's just so close out there. He's feeding or napping or something, but no fear. He kind of just stood around for photos, which was pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a shark out there. There's a shark. Do you see the shark? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's get nice and close. That is a shark out there in Serenity Bay. Unbelievable. We are seeing some incredible animals here. I am, I am just floored. I, I'm not sure if we're supposed to warn other guests, but it's a very small shark. So I don't think it's going to be a huge danger. But yes, that is a shark right out there. Oh my gosh. You can see it's now going back out to like a little further. There's a shark there and a stingray there. Unbelievable. So it's it definitely wild out here when you're at the Trinity Bay. Oh my gosh. David, shark and stingray here. We just heard about an octopus being seen, a baby octopus being seen. Serenity Bay. You gonna hop on in? Just go, in are you going in? All right, there he goes. Enjoy the shark time. Oh wait, wait, wait David, that's not in. David, that's it's wet right there. Yeah? You gonna go any further? Sure. Oh he look at there he goes. You're gonna pet him, okay. I thought about it, but probably a little dangerous. Yeah, what do you think about all these animals out here? It's uh, it's definitely unique. I wouldn't have expected so many back on the beachfront where people normally hang out, but I guess that's what it's like right now. You right. know, it's a little bit more wild than it was. Absolutely. Dave and I both have the prediction that since no one has been out here in 18 months, these animals are more comfortable coming up to the beach again. So that's, I mean, this is a super unique experience. This is a castaway sea trip I am never going to forget. I've been looking for shark teeth. I mean, look, we just saw one. It was at least, I mean, I'm trying not to exaggerate it. I think it was like five feet long. And David, I want to make sure, about five feet long? That doesn't sound wrong. Okay. It, it was it was long, probably not as tall as you or I, but but close. But if, so it was, if you were standing up. It could probably up. be something like that. Yeah, yeah. five feet or so. That It was a long shark. Again, I think it's probably a nurse shark, small one, not... You know, I say to myself, oh my gosh, shark man-eater. No, 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 it's not, that's not what we're talking about here. But it's just so intense to see all these animals. And the stingray is kind of, he's still right there. That's him right there, still out there. Just incredible. You know, when I first got these glasses, a friend of mine told me that uh, they were really going to help me see in the water. And I can definitely see the difference. Like, without them, it's tough to see that stingray. But with them, I can very clearly see that stingray right there. 
Yeah, so extra polarized glasses help if you're looking for animals. Headed back to Pelican Point now on the Serenity Bay Tram. An unbelievable, amazing day here. I loved all the animals we saw. A little scary in the moment, but then afterwards you really appreciate nature. So cool. One of the things I really love about Castaway Key is the music they play here. It's always like great reggae music. Really makes you feel like you're in the Caribbean. Big question here. Do you think that's a real iron cannon? I don't know, Dave and I were just talking about it. It, it. I feel like they probably are. I don't know. I'm sure we could find out. My gosh, those are so cool. I especially like this one right there. That's the, the dragon on it. Here's Castaway Ray, Stingray Adventure. Always love this one. Those bikes we didn't get to this time, but at some point in the future, we're gonna try a little bit more shopping before we head back to the beautiful, amazing, magical Disney dream. In the store here at Castaway Key, doing some last minute shopping, checking out more of these spirit jerseys here, just looking for the ultimate best to bring home for family and friends. You know, we're thinking of all of our family and friends when we're here, wishing they were here with us. So fantastic. This mug right here, Castaway Key Surf Company, is $11.99. I don't know, I'm tempted by that one, especially with the big old surfboard on the back. Wow. So many things on sale, including this towel right here. I'm holding it in my hand. I wanted to show you the design. The Disney Cruise Line, $10.99 for this towel. Now a serious contender, and I got it in my hand. Got a few more items from the store as we're making our way back to cargo handling and the ship. David, this is your last time on the Disney Cruise as a Silver Castaway Club member because you're going to be joining the Gold Club. Are you excited about that? I am very right. excited about it. Getting that gold lanyard. We'll be matching all the way through. There you go, looks classy. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. Eventually you're gonna get that platinum black one. Back to the ship now, maybe some hot tub time, perhaps aqueduct time. Okay. All right, let's do it. No, I don't wanna go back. No, no. 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 It's never fun to have that last day at Castaway Key. And we had the double dip, so I felt like the, the first day we were at Castaway Key, we was like, oh, yes. Bye Castaway Key for now, we'll see you real soon. But it's the second day. This went too fast, second day now where it's like, oh, now it's time to really say, see you real soon, to Castaway Key. Dave and I are both feeling it as we're making our way back. It's a beautiful ship. My recommendation, if you're just starting off on cruising, go for those seven-nighters. I just, there's something different about it. There's something different about it. Not, it doesn't mean this isn't fun. I love this. It's just too short. I'm like, I want more. I always want more, you know? It's just me. I love this adventure and just gotta say, overall, so, so glad we are back to cruising. So glad. Now, Dave, you and I have different thoughts about those first timers who are ready to start cruising and how long their first cruise should be. You know, I think that Seven Nights perfect for that first one. What do you think? I think that Seven Nights are awesome and we really enjoy those most definitely. But I think a three-nighter could be a great way to start for your first cruise because if you're not sure if you'll love it, I think it's a nice way to get a sample taste in. And if you feel like at the end of the cruise, oh, this was too short, then it's that much easier for you to get a longer one afterwards. Whereas if you take a longer one, it's not your favorite thing. You could have instead taken that extra time, that extra money and spent more time in the parks or whatever it is you prefer. So it's a nice little sampler. It's a three-nighter if it's your very first one and you're really not sure. Here's a much closer look at those new doom buggies for our favorite character pals as they make their way around. We saw them in action a couple days now. So, so cool. I love the colors. The colors are so cool. They got the speakers on the back. Imagine driving to Serenity Bay in this, but it's for our favorite character friends. The blue, the yellow, and the red one for Mickey too. Here it is, there's Mickey's Doom Buggy as we make our way back on board the Disney Dream. We can see it in all of its beautiful colors. Yellow, got that brown on the, on the bottom there, the trim, the red. Okay, making our way up to deck 11 now. We've got plastic cups in hand. Let's see that cruise one, Dave. Yeah, Disney's Disney Cruise Mug right there. So you can sit back and relax by the uh, hot tub and enjoy some great time just looking the amazing Castaway Key. Here we are enjoying our afternoon Castaway Key in the backdrop. David, you couldn't ask for a better view right there in the fantastic hot tub with the, the window down below. So we'll be able to watch as we sail away from the amazing, beautiful, stupendous, magnificent, incredible, magical Castaway Key. Finally made it right. A large ice cream, coffee, tiny bit of creamer, three sweet and lows. That's the way to do it. On board the Disney Cruise, plenty of energy. This is our current view. Stepped out of the hot tub and got our own lounger chairs right now. David, is this one of your favorite things to do on board? Uh, I already see a thumbs up. He already knows where I'm going with that. It's an amazing feeling. Cool breeze, great views. Uh, 
is what cruising is all about right here what a day what a cruise what an experience castaway key second day i loved it absolutely loved it such an amazing adventure the night's not over i know we're starting to wind down this is the last night on board it's not never fun it's never fun but you appreciate all the amazing things that we've experienced and that's what i've learned to do over many many cruises absolutely love it i'm just going to look at the island and appreciate it a few more minutes and then we're going to go see jungle cruise in the buena vista theater on board the disney dream some uh some friends may want to try and stay on castaway key a bit longer than they're supposed to that's okay that's all right they're they're figuring it out but we are uh, starting to pack up now. I think they're doing the luggage um, pickup because, sure enough, we got these uh, Daisy uh, luggage tags from our super, super kind uh, stateroom host, Noel. Great guy, by the way. Highly recommend him. But, uh, yeah, we're going to start packing up, putting things in bags, and then we got to go to get to the movie. It's going to be great. So next step in the process, that means our next cruise is that much closer. All packed up now, and just saying see you real soon to Castaway Key. That's all we're doing. There it is, right there. Miss it already. I love that island so much, but... We'll see you real soon, Castaway Key. Till the next time. All right, we're going to grab our cups and make our way to the Buena Vista Theater. Jungle Cruise time featuring The Rock. Let's do it. Just finished the movie. Really good. Just got back to our room, saw our super kind uh, stateroom host, Noel, and he was being super friendly as always and even left us something <laughs> super cute. Little, uh, what are you going to call that? A flying, flying squirrel or maybe a stingray? It looks like a stingray with those glasses. Super cute. We're going to leave him there for a minute. Just finished Jungle Cruise 2. We were just running around. It was so, so, so good. I really enjoyed it. Great humor. Great action. I thought it was an all-around great movie. Uh, there was some parts where it's like, you know, you have to, there's like subtitles, right? And so they, they mess around. They're having jokes with English, understanding English. That was the funniest moment when they're like, oh, how do you pronounce it? I can't even do it. Like when you say jungle, but it was, it was so, so funny. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was worth seeing. I'm glad we saw it here again. Seeing them in the Buena Vista Theater, you say to yourself, Michael, David, you guys can see this stuff any other time, right? You can see it in a theater, but I feel like when you're on the cruise and it's first run movie, you, you know, you, you'd have to pay for it in the Disney Plus or you have to pay for it in the theater. Why not just have it included? I thought it was great, so I loved it. David, your thoughts about the movie? I thought it was a great one. Really glad we had the chance to see it. Unique story, a great blend of the Jungle Cruise you may already be familiar with, that attraction, which is always so much fun, combining that story with another mystical, magical one that you'll be sure to enjoy. So most definitely had a great time with the Jungle Cruise movie. My question now, is this movie going to inspire something different in the ride? Maybe, because you know the ride inspired the movie, and remember with Pirates, the movie then inspired the ride. Possibility, I know they just changed Jungle Cruise, so somehow I doubt it, but maybe this will be a reveal for what Trader Sam will look like. Tough to know, but I'm excited for the future. Now, we're going to probably pack up a bit more. As you can see, we're, we're packed up pretty well. we got some things right here. We're, we're starting to move. But uh, we got to get things out in, outside of the room by 10.45 p.m. so Noel can take them. And otherwise, we have dinner tonight, last dinner on this ship, but not to worry. More dinner is coming up before you know it on other cruises in the future. Looking forward to those. The last night, the last sunset, the last look at that amazing horizon out there. Well, no, we'll see the horizon again, but... Just being out here, appreciating all this. I, I remember how much I love cruising when I'm out here. I mean, I, I love cruising all the time no matter what, but being out here helps me remember all that. I just, it's so magical, so amazing. So much I, I wouldn't not do. I want to do again and again and again. And you never know what's hiding just beyond the horizon. Let's head to dinner. Time for a royal palace. First time for dinner. You can see as we walk over, we can see Belle. And Ariel welcoming us in. Thank you. Good to see you. We're ready. We're absolutely ready. Thank you. I'll try the gray stuff. Check it out. We've got this table here and look at this amazing view outside. We got our own porthole as we're dining at Royal Palace. I love it. Sure enough, our server was so thoughtful and brought us the Ahi Tuna Avocado Towers. No one knows how much we love them. I'm definitely going to enjoy it thoroughly. I think David may as well, but it's there in case he wants it. So thoughtful though. So incredibly thoughtful. Also at the brioche bread with that olive spread. Let's eat it all together. Ahi Tuna, delicious as always. I loved it. So, so good. We're actually passing what looks like maybe Nassau or another port. Tough to see outside this window because it's just a reflection. I'll show you just like that. Just a reflection to you, but for me, I can see right outside. Looks really good. 
appetizers breed. The uh, soup course is the French onion soup. First up is that appetizer. It's the deep fried brie. Now I've tried this before, but I've heard it's even better now by a fellow guest on board. We're gonna give it a try together, see if big improvements have been made. I'm gonna add some of that uh, sauce with it. You ready? Set, bon appetit. I've had the deep fried brie before, but I can tell you this is definitely better than what I've had. Definitely is much more of that brie flavor. Not earthy flavor brie, just more of a buttery brie. So good. It's so interesting in Royal Palace, they've changed something here in the dream. There's amazing piano music playing. We're actually catching it between a set here. And I was thinking to myself, oh, there you go. It sounds live. It sounds elegant. Sure enough, it is live, and it is elegant. There's a pianist playing right in the center of the restaurant. Maybe as we leave, yeah, hear that one. As we leave, we'll be able to see uh, the person there playing, the pianist. Really fantastic live music. Soup course is one of my mom's favorites. The French onion soup from Royal Palace. Let's see if it lives up to all of our expectations. David's got it too. Bon appetit. Absolutely delicious. Even better. Better than I remember. That good. I am super, super impressed with this one. Great cheesy flavor throughout the French onion soup. Definitely one I would recommend. Let it cool. Let it cool. You will, it will burn your tongue in the roof of your mouth. Saying this from experience, I'm not saying whether or not it's extremely recent experience, but make sure you let it cool. For dinner tonight, David's got that salmon. It looks incredible, crusted on the outside. Can't wait to give that a bite. I've got the filet steak. Looks incredible with the potato and the vernier sauce on the side. They've also got some green beans. Looking forward to trying all of it. You ready? Bon appetit. Filet steak is exceptionally good. Great filet flavor combined with the two sauces, the Bernays and the, um, it's like a, a, I don't know what sauce is on the side, like a, almost, a, almost a cranberry flavor in there, but it is absolutely incredible. A little bit on the tough side, a little bit on the tough side, but overall, really, really good. I tried the salmon as well. Salmon's a little dry, in my opinion. A little bit on the dry side, good flavor. The, um, the there's a, uh, a cauliflower spread, like almost like uh, potatoes underneath the salmon, which is even more worth talking about. The accoutrement to the salmon is absolutely insanely good, uh, but the salmon itself a little bit on the dry side. Both of these items were good, but nothing absolutely incredibly, mind-blowingly amazing. Probably tried two different main courses. Other items, the brie, the soup was very good, but the uh, main courses, I think I tried the items at Royal Palace. Problem is, this, this is good. You got good, but then you got like amazing everything else, so not bad, just you want other amazing things. To end our meal today, we're getting three desserts. You know, it's one of the things that Dave and I love to do on board because, you know, it is included. We've got the classic opera gâteau, the strawberry shortcake sundae, and the creme brulee. All, I think, ones that we really do enjoy at this dinner. Last dinner on board this boat, but don't worry, there will be other cruise dinners coming up in the future. Ones that I'm looking forward to. For dessert tonight, we've got the chocolate opera gâteau. I always remember loving this one. Gold leaf on top. We've also got the creme brulee, highly recommended. Again, looking forward to trying that. And David's got these strawberry shortcake sundae. Maybe I'll try a bite of that as well. Looking forward to biting all three. Letting you know what we think. You ready? Here we go. Strawberry shortcake sundae is incredible. Love the strawberry flavor throughout. That, I think, may actually be the winner. I love it. The creme brulee is better than ever. If you love creme brulee and a nice sugary top with the sugar kind of crisp on top, that is amazing. The chocolate gato has completely lost its luster, in my opinion. Not worth getting. Everything else, definitely worth it. So overall, Royal Palace really enjoyed it. Got some new favorites. Like that uh, delicious uh, soup and the creme brulee here, along with the strawberry shortcake. But lots of great food to try again in the future when we're back on the dream one day. Great meal, really was. But you know, we've been eating late every single night on the cruise, and I'm starting to rethink second dining. We may want to go for first dining next time. I don't know. Nice to have it all to ourselves, though. It's very quiet here. I love it. Last moment in the shop here before we go up for the night. Take a look. They've got every single sculpture from the Disney Cruise Line. Ariel, there's Minnie, there's Donald, and there's Mickey. It's so cool. I'm tempted by all of them, you know that. Take a look, they really are trying to clear quite a few of these items. This one is $32.99, usually $54 for that sweatshirt. This sweatshirt's $32.99, usually $54. And this t-shirt's $17.99 with Captain Mickey right on the front. Definitely a lot of merchandise that's moving along. David, the cruise is coming to an end. Are you sad? Yes. Okay. Are you looking forward to our next cruise? Yes. Okay. Do yes. you... Okay, so everything's yes. Everything's yes <laughs> from David on this adventure. We're both yes. super tired, but had an absolutely incredible time. Not to forget, today 
is not the absolute end of the trip. There's another video coming up tomorrow. We're going to talk all about other things that we have planned, things for the future you never know, and a great breakfast and the outro. We're going to figure out how we get off the ship because apparently there's a new policy to get, to get off. We can't. We're locked in here all day tomorrow. I, I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to find out together. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks, as always, for making it all possible, for being a part of the magic with us. It means so much to be able to share it all with you. Until next time. Have a magic. Day. And see you real soon.